everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and today I'm doing what I think is my very first attempt at mermaid nails. I asked for ideas on Facebook recently and this was the most popular one, so here we are. They didn't turn out exactly how I planned and the scale pattern isn't exactly perfect, but I love how shiny and reflective they are and it was really good to try something new. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and enable notifications and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Alright, so I used foils in this manicure and figured it was a good chance to play around with a new pack I bought in town a while ago and this is by the nail polish brand Mode. I ended up using three different colours of foils, a dark blue from this pack and a light blue and a silver that I already had at home. As usual I started off with a base coat and then once that was dry I painted my nails black. The black that came in the pack was a bit sheer though, and I ended up having to do three coats to make it opaque. I usually use Sinful Colours Black on Black, so I'd totally recommend that one instead if you're going to try this. Once they were touch dry, I applied a quick dry top coat as we want all of the layers to be dry for the next bit. Once that's completely dry, apply nail glue across the nails. As you can see, I'm doing this to the index, middle and ring fingers, but obviously you can do however many nails you want. Then just wait a few minutes for it to dry. You'll know it's ready when it goes clear, however it can go clear at different stages depending on how evenly you apply the glue. I generally start applying the foil once about half the glue is dried, in case the first stuff dries too fast and the foil won't stick. To apply the foils, press the foil onto a clear area on the nail where the glue has been with the coloured side up. Press down, then quickly pull off. If the glue was ready, some of the foil should pull away and leave a shiny spot on your nail. As I said before, I did this with dark blue, silver and light blue. It creates a really cool metallic effect that's really hard to create with anything else. Just keep pressing and pulling until you're happy with the look. I wanted to cover up most, if not all, of the black, so I actually reapplied some glue and added some more foil to some areas. Alright, once that's done, we can move on to the scales. I just used silver polish for this, all the names are down below, and just started at the middle at the top of the nail. You could definitely be a lot more precise than me, I just made a bunch of curves that link to each other to imitate mermaid scales. You can also get vinyls that do this job for you if you don't want to hand paint them. As usual, I'm using the detail brush from my Nailed It NZ brush kit and I will leave the shop link down below. Once the silver's all done, make it pop by adding in some black. Inside of each curve, add a smaller black one. The shadowing makes it look a little more three-dimensional. Moving on to the pinky and the thumb, I did the same design on both of these. I used my Sinful Colours black to paint the nail and then used the same silver from before and my Nailed It NZ dotting tool to create a gentle curved line made up of dots. I then made two more lines going in the other direction. I finished this nail off by using some white polish and a detail brush to link them together giving them the impression of mermaid jewellery. Right, so give your nails a good clean up. I'm using the clean up brush from my kit and some nail polish remover. And once that's done, apply a top coat. And here's how they turned out. Let me know what you think of this design in the comments and if you have any other requests I could challenge myself with. Remember to subscribe and thumbs up and hit the notifications button to see all of my updates. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Next I added the Santa hat, just to use black for these outlines and let it fold over at the very top of the nail. Now you'll need to mix up the poop colour, it took me a while to get this right and then